What is up everybody? Thank you guys for the love and appreciation that you guys gave to the HHN commentary series. Uh, it's kind of fun doing these. You guys wanted to see more of these so we're going to start doing these every so often on the channel. We're going to have these pop up um, and continue on. You know, Next year we'll kind of do some commentary tracks on the houses for this year i know that sounds a little confusing but you'll understand how things go so i decided the next one i was going to do let me adjust this mic the next one we were going to do is dr satan yes so that is the house of a thousand corpses uh like i stated before i am doing these sort of as a commentary track i'm using theme park hd's uh videos but uh, these videos are not monetized. They're purely just for the fun fact of doing HHN commentary for you guys. I make no money on doing these. So here we go. House of a Thousand Corpses. Ooh, 75 minute wait. Ouch. <laughs> um, this dude in the front always got me nervous. Every time I like would come to this house, I would really freak out about this person in the front because i i'm still remembering in the movie with the i think it was a dummy that they used like a mechanical dummy that was waving um so that's a good nod to you know obviously the movie and the property and this room oh my god i would have loved to spend some time in this room great design on it because they took what was part of the movie and made it feel like it was so more immersive and I just overall love this house. Um, I had a great time in this house. It was everything I wanted for a House of a Thousand Corps house. Uh, you know, just pushed to the extreme. <laughs> you gotta love the wigs on some of these characters. And Fish Boy, Fish Boy, a lot of people miss that. Love the creature of the Black Lagoon there. That's kind of great. And um, all the babies pop out um do, 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 boiler room this scene kind of got me here and there that the the girl that's right there usually would scare me pretty often because sometimes she would hide and she would run out and it would freak me out <laughs> gotta love the otises that they just look awful in those wigs it did a good job uh, at least as far as the house design of you kind of feel like you're going through the house um, <laughs> I love the run rabbit run run rabbit there's a uh, Connor's favorite I'm the one that brings the Christmas spirit <laughs> yeah you gotta love uh, uh, I love the the features of the videos as well that design of having the videos there um, reminds me of the house of a thousand corpses the uh, intro screen that they have um uh, the intro title <clears throat> this was a good scare as well because when you came around the corner you never knew what was going to be in these rooms and this part right here i'm just going to pause it and just say catacombs i don't know what horror nights has been doing recently with their houses especially the last two or three years uh, they have been stepping up as far as the scares a lot of times. I'm sure they have goofy houses. We have some goofy stuff. Some houses are just meteor, you know, meteor, medium when it comes to a scare factor. But this house, Graveyard Games, um, Ghostbusters kind of hinted at it. But especially the catacombs in this house. Oh my God. Unnerving. Me and Connor, every time we went through this part, we would freak out. We would be like, ah, I'm going to like run through this part. Catacombs, freaking terrifying. I don't know what Horror Nights have been. I don't know who's designing these mazes with these sort of dark elements. Poltergeist had it. This one had it. Really cool that you got to kind of go through the catacombs and then go into Dr. Satan layer, which was really cool because every time I saw Dr. Satan, I'd be like, Dr. Satan, Dr. Satan. And he would sort of gesture or something like this if he understood what you were saying. So um, overall, I love the house design. I love that you go through these catacombs are freaking terrifying. And I love the setup of the house. It's very easy going. And then you kind of go a little more into the madness until you get to, like I said, the catacombs are just freaking terrifying. 
and then once you go through dr sade's layer and then you go to this part and it's just like like splattered you know craziness for the end of the house so i love that they did that with this house you know they kind of took it a little easy made it a little more and then just went crazy with it so that was always great to see and uh that's my commentary on House of Thousand Corpses. Uh, finally, we got it at Halloween Horror Nights here in Orlando. I know Hollywood has had it multiple times. They've had Rob Zombie over there multiple times. Um, but it was great to have that. And as well as we had the Rob Zombie Scare Zone, which was great. So overall, I hope they continue this trend of doing this type of thing with uh, horror directors, maybe some more rock band-esque you know stuff like slipknot is out there you got uh so many other things they can do black sabbath uh you know guar i don't think they would ever do that but that's just something i'm throwing out there a uh, ghost as well uh so many different opportunities they have and i would love for them to expand upon the uh, sort of director series. I've always thought it would be kind of cool if they did like a John Carpenter's house, you know, and just made it a bunch of his stuff or a George A. Romero like zombie trilogy house and you do like, you know, night, day, and dawn. Uh, that would be kind of cool. Or Wes Craven Masters of series horror house or something, you know. Um, endless pop possibilities there, but that has been it for this itching commentary video on uh, House of a Thousand Corpses. What scene in this house did you love the most? Did you like the house? Did you not like it? Let me know now in the comment section. Make sure to click a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We are just over the mountain looking at 5K. It's just, it's just there. I can almost reach out and touch it. But that is it for now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this series and what house would you like to see me cover next? Leave that down in the comment section. Adios. I'm out of here. Peace.